Okay. Oh, let me see something. All right. So we talked a little bit about savings, methods of savings and stuff. And ultimately, our methods of savings have a goal. Okay, ultimately, the method of saving has a goal. So, and that goal is towards our retirement. Okay, so we're going to talk about our first part of retirement savings. Okay. That is the individual retirement account abbreviated IRA, okay? Now, these accounts were created by the government spelling, nope, created by the government to encourage people to save on their own towards their retirement, okay? The government gives tax benefits for people who use IRAs, okay? The government puts a limit on when you can start using the money in the IRA, IRA, okay? And that limit, you can start using the money once you are 59 and a half years old, okay? Once you're 59 and a half, you can start using part of the money. Before then, you pay a really big penalty fee. to use the money because the goal is retirement. Okay. Now, um, IRAs use CDs, which we learned about yesterday, mutual funds, which we kind of learned about, and we'll learn more when we get into the stock book. Um, or both to invest the money in the account. Okay, so you put the money in, that IRA, that entity, IRAs are managed, okay? You put the money in, but you don't get to say where it goes. You're not investing it individually. You're putting money into this big pool with other people and the, the fund managers use some of it to get CDs and some of it to do mutual funds or a combination. Okay, So someone else is managing this big pool of money that a lot of people 
are putting their money into. Okay, that a lot of people are putting their money into. Okay. Now, there are two kinds of IRAs. The first kind is the traditional. Okay. It is tax deductible. Not a capital D. Deposits. Okay, tax deductible deposits. Which means you can, oops, deduct the full amount deposited from your income on federal income tax. Okay, so there's a line item that lets you subtract that from how much income you made this year. Okay. Okay, possibility. You have a possibility for a tax credit. This is a flat amount allowed to subtract. From your taxes. For making deposits. So not only do you get to subtract how much you put in there from your income level, you also get another benefit a flat like subtraction, deduction. Okay. It is called tax deferred. Okay. This means the earnings are not taxed until you start to withdraw the money. money from the account at that time is treated like a paycheck, okay? So you get taxes withheld from it. Okay. Now, tax deferred helps you grow the money more quickly and when you withdraw the money you pay a lower tax rate because your income is lower. Okay. Okay. Now, last thing about the traditional. Certain high income People cannot deduct deposits from taxes and have a limit on the maximum amount 
they can deposit each year. But the average person, it's not a big deal for. Okay, so that's the traditional IRA. <clears throat> Okay, then there is the Roth IRA. And I, next to this word traditional, I'm gonna put IRA. I'll go back and add that into your piece. <coughs> there is the Roth IRA. Now, <coughs> there is the same deposit limits as the traditional IRA. It is not tax deductible. But because it's not tax deductible, the earnings are never taxed. even after they get withdrawn, okay? So even when you start taking the money out, you don't get taxed on it. And that's because you already paid taxes on it. By not being allowed to subtract it from your income, you pay taxes on that upfront, okay? Eligibility. phases out at high levels of income oh. um, these have their own rules for how the money, oops, is distributed at retirement. Okay. And there actually is one other kind of IRA. And that is called a simplified. The Roth and the traditional are the main ones. So that's why they say two kinds of IRA. This one is link specific. Simplified employee pension IRA. Okay, um, these are abbreviated SEP-IRA. These are only for those who are self-employed. That's why they're not, you know, one of the general IRAs you can get. Now, what does it mean if you're self-employed? What does that mean? What does that mean if it's self-employed? Yeah, you work for yourself. So if you work for yourself, what does that mean? You own your own business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's only for this one is set up specifically for the people who own their own businesses. Okay, as a way to have a pension fund like someone who works for a company. Okay, so that's why they're specific. But they work like the traditional IRA. Okay. They get they are tax deductible. 
they are, um, but you get taxed when the, you start pulling the money out. Okay. All right. Any questions? Okay, turn in our notes, please. We got to go over the project. I have not released the project because uh, the formatting ended up being a mess and I had to fix it and I'm still not done fixing it. So I'm going to be fixing the formatting as we talk about it. One of the things I love hate about Google, sometimes it messes with your formatting. Okay, so I need people turning in their notes. And then I am going to open up the project. We're going to talk about.